Hey everyone, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games. Today is July the 31st, 2014. And um, again, it's not it's been a good few weeks since I've done a video for the channel and I've missed it a lot, really. I wanted to get around to it and get more of these done, of course, especially focusing on the business side of mobile games because a lot of people I'd spoken to had said that, that was the uh, one of the cool things about the channel was discussing the business elements and, and sort of the revenue side of uh, mobile games from the perspective of uh, an independent or small studio. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to try and keep more and more going, of course. I know I always say that. I know I do. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy busy few months and uh, sort of juggling a lot of games and a lot of different um, plans that we're doing both for Cobalt Play and for Panda Tap. So, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot going on, but I just want to say thanks to everyone for subscribing to the channel and uh, and also for commenting and posting as well. So anyway, this video is a, a quick one about AppLoving.com. Uh, we started to um, uh, add uh, AppLoving.com ads in our game games um, probably uh, about six weeks or two months ago, maybe not even that. And I just wanted to share some revenue. So I did a post on our forum, the How to Make Mobile Games forum, uh, earlier today. And I wanted to share this on the channel as well because I know a lot of you might still be uh, watching the YouTube channel but maybe not on the forum right now. So uh, that's pretty much why I'm doing this. But the cool thing is it's titled uh, uh, 25, uh, Hit the $25 a day mark using App Loving, uh, which is great. So this is, this is the graph here. Uh, I don't think I'll click on it because I don't know where that's going to lead me. Uh, but as you can see here, it's uh, we've hit the $25 mark a day on app loving ads. I think right now we might have app loving ads only in around um, maybe seven or eight games, something like that. And the apps, uh, the ads appear in the main menu only. Okay, and app loving ads have static uh, image ads, and they also have video ads, which are very cool actually. I didn't see many video ads in games for a while, and these ones are, are pretty good. Most of the video ads I see are from EA and uh, some of the larger publishers, but they're very cool videos actually. They only last about 10 seconds, but the, you know, the message is here guys, like the, the revenue for us has gone up, had around 94,000 impressions uh, so far, 20,000 clicks, uh, and it's made $303 since, um, what is that, that's the... 2nd of July. Um, so that's pretty good. I, I presume this revenue here is only for what you're seeing on the screen. I've not I've not dipped into the analytics of Apple loving that much so far. But three hundred dollars, you know, uh, for just one small this is a smaller channel for us, it's not as big as chart boost. But hopefully this will continue to grow. Uh, as you can see here as well, the impressions are growing. The Apps are the ads are are inside of our Android games on Google Play on Amazon and also on our iOS games as well. So three channels uh, and about eight games. So this is this is great. The reason is uh, that that we put app loving ads in is because you've got to always spread the risk, guys. You, you've got to spread the risk. Uh, recently, I mean, uh, for those of you who have followed me now for a few years, you know, thank you for following me for a few years. I love you all. Uh, you know that when I started, I was very much focused on coding and development and building uh, great games and fun games. My focus has been this past few months has really been switched to sort of the business model side of things, the publishing side of things, the marketing side of things. Uh, and, and as a company grows, that's really important, and that's really like what the role of probably the the uh, the founder of the company will end up doing. Uh, so it's interesting, I, I mentioned to some of the guys on the forum that I'm not actually coding very much anymore and i just seen like this 2D Collider stuff video and um, also a, a video about um, uh, the 2D Particle Shuriken system by Nick who had posted on the on the forum and that was, stuff was like so alien to me because I've just not touched Unity 4 Plus in, well ever since it's come, been released my head is still in Unity 3.4 or something like that. I'm still using the legacy particle systems, but anyway. So my point is that I'm I'm sort of focusing more on the revenue and the business model, distribution and marketing now. Because guys, um, it 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 um, doesn't matter if your game is great and you have you have great designs and awesome gameplay. The most important thing now these days for games, in my opinion, 
is getting the eyes on your games, getting the download, marketing, uh, because even if the product is not great, you can still make money. Um, you know, and that's the most important thing for a business. If it's a hobby, then it's, that's a different thing. But uh, you know, for us, it's very much the marketing. So, uh, and like I said, the reason that I put AppLoving.com ads in the game and they've done pretty good is because to spread the risk. Uh, ad, adding more ad networks in your games is very important because you might have a case like in the situation with RevMob, uh, which happened a few months ago where developers were seeing their revenue just drop like crazy. Uh, and that was just like a huge chunk of their revenue gone. Uh, and I think a lot of them had most of their eggs in one basket in that case. They had a lot of uh, money coming in from RevMob, but didn't have any other backup networks. So it's so important to spread your risk. Uh, spread it through to different app stores, but also different ad networks as well. And um, yeah, so that's that's all I wanted to say, guys. Uh, for those of you who want to see what the AppLoving.com ads look like, then please check out this game, guys. We released it just uh, a few days ago. It's called Kill 'Em Pop Island. Uh, Kill 'Em is two words. I know it's one word here, but it's two words. Kill 'Em Pop Island. Uh, if you're on the farm, you can just click the link here. Uh, I know it's a huge link. All it is is just a tracking link to see where the where the click came from. Uh, so don't worry about the size of it. Uh, and the other ones, uh, the uh, people on the channel, How to Make Mobile Games YouTube channel, uh, check out the How to Make Mobile Games forum. This is the link, guys. Uh, How to Make Mobile Games And uh, almost every one to two days, I'm trying to do it every day, but I'm doing a post on the on here and. Uh, on my blog section, which is uh, Martin's Dev Blog and YouTube videos, trying to do more uh, videos for each of the uh, for each of these posts that I do. I'll give I'll see if I can do that. Um, but uh, a great big thanks to anyone who's joined the forum so far. There's like uh, I think 32 members at the moment. Uh, you've been awesome. Like thank you for posting that. Uh, Nick MBM Adach Soft um, uh, Salas Games. Uh, uh, Epic Studios. Uh, I know there's a bunch. There's, there's a bunch of other guys who have been posting as well. Really, thank you to to you all. I'm so sorry. I'm not remembering names. I'm terrible when it comes to names. Uh, there you go, Christian three three three. I've seen your replies sometimes as well. Roman as well. I think we've known each other for a while uh, from the channel or some other area. But thank you for joining the forum, guys. Uh, it's great to have this on here. Uh, for those of you who are interested in. Uh, Post about your games on the forum, you know, for sure. That's part of the forum. Part of the forum is to spread the word and about your games as well. Uh, there's a game a developer diaries section right here, uh, which is the second part. Uh, what you can do on there is just post about your game uh, and tell us how long it took, maybe how many downloads, how much money it makes, if you're okay to share that. And, uh, you know, uh, how big was the team? Maybe some screenshots of like inside Unity or whichever engine you use to build the game. Uh, just some information that developers that w would be interested in. Uh, don't just post the game as an advertising link, you know, uh, just a screenshot. But tell us about the development process because then we can give some feedback and things. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that and we'll try to do more videos. Thank you again for all the support. Thank you for staying with me for so long on this channel. Uh, it's been so cool and I hope, I, I hope one day that I can just, like, you know, do how to make mobile games because I have, uh, I have so much fun doing this and it, it's awesome. Anyway, have a great week, everyone. Happy developing. Bye-bye.